Hi, this is Dr. Gary, and welcome to our weekly Tune Up This Week. Many of you constantly write me, want to know about the law of attraction, if it's real, want to know about the thing we talk about manifesting, bringing things into your reality when you just think about them, and if it's really true. Well, the truth of the matter is, it is and it isn't. And here's the truth of it. I was one of these skeptics. I didn't even hear about this stuff for a long, long time and understand it myself. Now I talk about it a lot because I understand it now. However, I had to get into the science of it. I suggest if you're really interested in this, you get off the beaten path and read a book called The Disappearance of the Universe. This is a pretty interesting book. It's not easy to understand, but it's going to be something that you haven't heard before. And it talks about things that you probably haven't ever heard about either. It's called MEMS, and it's spelled M-E-M-E-S. And what MIMS are, are photonic particles. And a photon is nothing more than a light molecule. Light is what makes the universe work. They're figuring that out now. There are a couple of guys that had it right. It was Albert Einstein a long time ago. He knew once he started figuring out quantum physics and competing with Max Planck on the subject that there was something to this quantum stuff. But the guy that nobody ever really knew about until just recent years, I never even heard about this guy for a long, long time until I really got into science. Nikolai Tesla. He had it right. And if we would have followed Nikolai Tesla's science today, things would probably be a lot different and we would understand this a lot better. The science of MIMS have everything to do with the law of attraction and we never hear about it. It's the science behind how it works. Oh yes, it's about how you focus, it's about how you feel, it's about holding on to that feeling for a while, but deeper than that, it's about love. What they discovered in the science of MIMS, that darkness doesn't exist. It doesn't even exist. You can't measure it. The science of MIMS also is about light. And if you turn on a light, it simply gets rid of darkness. Now all this sounds metaphoric in nature, I know. That's the reason I want you to really look into this a little bit deeper. Just not trust my word for it. It's time all of you start getting this knowledge in your mind and understanding it so we can turn things around in the universe, on our planet, in our families, in society, with money, you know, everybody was making fun of 2012, that December 21st date, wondering, like, what's going to happen? Is it the end of the world? Well, I'll tell you what, something did happen then, and I haven't got time to talk about it now, but it's also documented and scientific in nature. And I think if you dig in, you're going to start understanding what happened. There's an energy shift now. We can feel it. There's a lot more stress. There's a lot more trauma. Things are happening, changing. We look at politics, it's getting weird. But it's really not getting weird, it's shaking things up. You hear me say a lot of times that change is inevitable and nothing changes until we're in a little bit of pain. Well, what's happening now, a lot of people are in pain. I don't like that, I'm in it. A lot of people I know are hurting, financially, physically, emotionally. But what happens is, before the change comes, you're gonna have a little bit of discomfort. And the science of MIMS talks a little bit about that. It talks about what you can do, how to clean up your thinking in a whole new way, focusing on love rather than fear and anger. It has a lot to do with forgiveness because forgiveness creates light. Anger and frustration create darkness and fear. Fear does not even exist. It's really a figment of our imagination. It's between our ears. It's the way we think. And usually it's way out into the future with a negative expectation. Remember, MIMS. We create them in our own mind. In fact, if you close your eyes in a real dark room, there's still light. You can see it between your eyes. You can feel it. I mean, you're never really blind because there's always light because it's inside of your mind. There's something going on there. Today, I want you to crank your MIMS up. And the way you do that is to focus on love, forgiveness, 
We're coming into the time of year. Of course, every time of year is the time of year. It's time to really, really get this together. We can change things right now. There's a huge paradigm shift that handled or happened in 2012. Most people are completely unaware of it, but there's a few of us that are because we've been paying attention to it. I see it here with all of you. I see how you're shifting and changing just in the emails and the text messages I receive, how the attitudes are changing, how the fear is cropping up. If you haven't got a good handle on this now, it's gonna be more difficult for you. It's time to calm down, take a deep breath. Things are not gonna go back the way they used to be. We're moving into a new era. There's all kinds of things going on, interesting things. And if you really pay attention, you're gonna start seeing those things. But it's time to wake up. It's time to love, it's time to forgive. Forget all the petty crap that we get mad about and start looking at how blessed you are to be alive right now in this amazing time and the influence you have on other people. If you smile at someone, if you shed light on their darkness by helping people, by just being that kind soul in a sea of despair and fear, it's gonna start changing things. It's gonna make you feel better. MIMS, remember that, check it out. It's gonna be hard to find. There's a faction out there that probably doesn't want us to know how this works. You know, slavery by submission. So give yourself permission to grow and to join us in a new paradigm of making things different, better for the world, financially and spiritually and economically. It's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to pull it together and quit worrying about what you're worried about and understand there's an alternative, and that is choice. We choose our thoughts. Today, I want you to choose good ones. Until next time, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a MIM-filled day. Bye-bye.